And what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial on my iPhone in Adobe Photoshop Express on how to create a border for an image. I actually want to post an image to Instagram and make it just a little bit more classy and a little bit artsy looking and take an image that was once dull and sort of give it a border and mat it and make it look a little bit more official and a little bit more impressive. So yeah, without further ado, I figured I would do just a little screen capture for you guys and create a quick little tutorial on a Wednesday evening because no one's home and I'm hanging out and we're having a good time. So let's go ahead and zip through this tutorial and then we'll end the video. Here we go. Okay, so I've actually got Photoshop Express ready to go. Uh, I've actually got the image that I want to edit right here. But what's really cool is uh, you can actually go through uh, all of your recent images. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I do a lot of uh, photography, um, especially since I bought that 50 millimeter lens the other day. But um, yeah, this is the image I want to frame. And um, how do you do it in Photoshop Express? You know, if you pay for the service and you have an Instagram account and post regularly and just want to change things up a bit and mat an image like we're going to do today, then this is how you do it. So uh, let's go ahead and at the very, very bottom of the display, you'll see you have a bunch of options here. Uh, you can go to your overlays, you can go into themes, you can crop and set the aspect ratio for the image to your liking. Uh, you can select a cutout to see the selection tools. Um, let's see what this is here. This looks like, I mean, you know, you can adjust your light, your color. Uh, you can give the image effects. You can add details such as sharpen it. Um, you know, basic uh, Photoshop things that we do to bring out the best in an image all the time. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. But what we're going to do today is as you can see I've already added a little bit of vignette but I think I want to go just one step further and map this image so we're gonna keep scrolling down at the very bottom and actually we're gonna scroll all the way over until we get to borders Wow why Photoshop doesn't have a borders button on the computer is beyond me this is just so much simpler finally I can get a border for my image just by opening up the app scrolling over just a couple clicks and voila. So uh, we're actually going to take a look at a few. I'm actually going to start with frames because these are the ones I dislike the most and we'll work, work our, we'll work our way back to the ones that I like. So here you can choose between a wooden frame, a modern frame, a matte frame. I'll show you the wooden frame since I mentioned it. And then you can choose a bunch of other stuff uh, such as tiles which I actually really like, and Slate. Yeah, I like tiles, that's actually pretty cool. I don't think it looks good with this image in particular, but I just like the tiles in general. Uh, but we can add some other borders uh, in the edges page, such as Film, Film, Emulsion. Uh, we can add a rough edge, we can add a half tone. I kinda like that half tone. Uh, we can add this dragged or an edge stroke or a soft edge. I like that too actually but still not what I'm interested in so we'll go to basic for basic people like me and then we'll go into vignette which I like we've got a vignette black and then as you can see you can actually bevel the image you can add a thin border I'm stuck in between bevel and thin I'm not quite sure which one I want but if we want we can choose a circle we can choose a vertical strip or a horizontal strip though. I don't like the horizontal strip because it actually cuts off the bottom of the door as you can see. So we're not going to go with that, but we could go with a vertical border. Uh, I actually like that vertical border, but you know what? I think we're going to stick with a thin border. Yeah, let's go with a thin border and then I'll just click the arrow with the I'll just click the box with the arrow through it pointing up and then the box with the arrow pointing down for camera roll and we can save the image to our camera roll and then we can go over to Instagram here and as you can see I've got a beautiful image 
with a thin border around it. We'll go ahead and hit next. Next. And we'll add the location, Fort Myers, Florida. And maybe add a caption, downtown Fort Myers. Storefront. Because that's what it is. And hit OK. And we'll go ahead and share. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial of how to add a border in Photoshop Express. I hope this served you well. If you like to add classy looking photos to Instagram like I do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on this Wednesday evening. My name is John. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.